Welcome to the fifth part of iOS SSL pinning series. So in this video, we are going to do the pinning via LMO Fire. First, uh, I'll show you like I have added an alert if there is an error. So you'll see an alert here. So we'll go to LMO Fire here and I'll just copy this URL and I'll go to files, add packages and I'll just write here the git URL and I'll select the exact version which is the latest one and I'll add the package. So now package is being added here. Let us build the application once to check whether everything is fine after adding the package. Okay, now first step in the network manager will import LMO fire and then we need a session for LMO fire. So I'll write AF session and that will be a session class. So you can see this session is, is a class in LMO fire, right? In LMO fire. Now we need to initiate this session as well so what i'll do in the init i'll write af session and session dot init and i just require nothing i don't require this delegate and all those stuff i require a server trust manager server trust this one Okay, I don't require any of these. Let's look at a server trust manager and it will it will have a server trust manager. So I need to create that. So let manager equal to server trust manager and in the evaluator it will be the evaluators which i will be requiring and i need to make evaluators as well which will be nothing but a string and server just evaluating okay and that's it so in this i'll have my key uh, my, my my value here and this is my key and my value. So in the value, I'll write public or pinned certificate, just evaluator. I'll work on this. Okay. So now uh, let me check what I need to pass here. I'm not pretty sure. Uh, it should be the certificate name, probably. So or it should be the it should be the host name i'm not sure on that so i haven't read the documentation yet for this but let us let us just add the certificate name and i'll just remove that dot cer part here okay and now we have to change the request here so i'll write a new function af request everything will be same no major changes only I need to call the API using the AF session, right? AF session dot request and it requires an URL, but you know, LMO fire doesn't require a URL, it, it, it says you to pass the string and then dot validate. So, this is the method which will do the validation stuff and response. And we will be having the closure of response in that's it. Response in switch response dot result result and we we will be having two things here like uh, one the success case. Uh, it will have the data and one failure case it will have the error 
so for error i'll do i'll just pass on this nothing new and for data it's it's again if you see this data is an optional one so i'll write guard let data else else you know return so there is an error so i'll write an error this time i'll pass the error so i'll copy this i'll do this in here as well okay and i'll just write something went wrong and copy this error and pass the closure here so now i have and i'll keep the domain as zero sorry the code is zero now we'll copy the same thing which we did in our original request for the success case right I believe something is messed up here. Else, this is okay. This is messed up. Now it looks good. And we need a colon here as well. So, even in the failure case, you know, we have two things here in LM of Fire. We need to actually evaluate the failing part. So, let's let's write a switch case in error rather than sending the completion i'll first write the switch case on error okay and in this i will be having two things one server trust evaluation failed and i will be having the reason let reason right and i think the other case will be the default one means like a default all that and then I'll copy this error here. And you can see the reason as well. You know, I'll print the reason for you. The reason is what? Reason is an object. And I'll, we'll print and we'll see like how the things work. And this is just a default case. So I'll just write default for the time being. And let us just intend it. Okay. So this is all about the LMO fire thing, like the validation and all those stuff so let us run the application and see what happens and yes we need to actually change okay so we have having the error okay yeah i missed extra brace here and then that will be it so i just need to change the method here af request and everything is same and let us run the application and see what happens So we are doing certificate pinning using LMO fire and response dot result. So we do have a failure here, and I think let us check the reason. What's the reason? Okay, okay. So host is so yeah, like I was talking like I have. I have to add host here, so now I'm pretty clear now. So we have to write host here and then run, run the application and then let us see like if everything is fine or not. So we need to write the host here, not the not the certificate thing, not the bundle, not the bundle name of the certificate here, right? Now I believe it should be in the success case. Yes, it is in the success case, and everything is working fine and you can see that yes the temperatures are there now again the same old thing we need to add charles so 192 168 1.7 and yes we are done with we are connected with charles now So I'll go to proxy settings first and I'll remove my already added proxy for the for the site and let me run the application and see what happens. 
so i think in this case uh, again i will be experiencing success because since i am using charles but i am not enabling ssl proxying right so if i run the application completely uh let me check charles so yeah we have the api and i think i got the result successfully i'll just run it again you can see in the in the view controller that this is updating fine now let's do the enable ssl proxying part and let us see whether we are able to get a failure in that case or not so we do come here and the result is what it should be a failure so yes it is a failure and if you see we we go to the trust validation and it, it is it is failed so even in even in the reason if you see i i printed the reason object so everything is explained like you know certificate certificate pinning failed api dot open weather dot org is the host but the pin certificate was the one which which, which it was ex expecting this certificate right this was the certificate if i if i go to the site again so let us go to the site again and you can see show certificate open weather this this was the certificate sectigo rsc domain validate so lmo fire is fetching that sectigo rsc domain it is expecting this certificate but again charles comes into the picture and you can see it is my root certificate since i have enabled ssl proxy so my pinning technically failed okay and and that's it i think that's the reason my pinning is failed and uh, it has been you know passed as an error so what i need to do uh, so i'll say that you know pinning failed pinning failed that's it okay and now if i run the application so in my ui we'll see we'll see the pinning failed alert that's it so yeah pinning is failed since we are you know doing the charge thing pinning is failed pinning failed okay and let us now just disable the boxing and let us see what happens now you know you can see the result it is coming fine let me run the app again it is coming fine but again enabling ssl boxing since charles want to come into the picture uh pinning failed so this is how we do ssl pinning of certificate using lmo fire in the next video we will be looking at the trust kit and we'll be looking like how the trust kit uh, validates the ssl pinning using public key and we'll mix trust kit with lmo fire as well see you there